this is Leo from Hong Yun Shuan. Nice to see you again. And then uh, today I'm going to show you a training, a training, technical training for the uh, high frequency inverter and the power frequency inverter, the difference. Because uh, many clients ask me about many, many times. Uh, we also make uh, the 48 volt DC to 220 volt uh, AC. Uh, what is the difference from the high frequency inverter and the power frequency inverter? We call also the low frequency inverter. What is the difference? And then when we should use the uh, high frequency inverter and then when we should use the low frequency inverter. So today I'm give, give you, I will give you a, a professional training of the difference between these two uh, type of uh, inverter. Okay, so first high frequency inverter, you know high frequency and uh, power frequency inverter. So I, I first I will show you more details about the something very professional for the uh, power supply, the method of the power supply. There are two types of um, uh, metal power supply. First, we call the switch switch mode power supply. Switch, that means uh, we can uh, simply understand is the uh, switch switching switching as the most fade most fade. So for example, I will show you. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you a very important and a very basic uh, uh, training of this switch mode power supply. Switch mode. Switch mode. Okay, so we can we can give you an example. If we uh, input 48 volts from the battery here, positive negative input, and then the 48 volt DC. The time, the wolf is like this, 48 wolf. Okay, and then we through a resistor, capacitor, and then most important here, we have a brake rectifier here. After the brake rectifier, we can have a high frequency AC voltage output like this one. High frequency, that means the uh, voltage Will be will change uh, very frequency uh, within the same time. For example, uh, normally our frequency for two hundred twenty volt is a fifty hertz or sixty hertz. But here, high frequency is much high, uh, much higher than the fifty or the sixty hertz. It's sometimes it's a thousand. 10,000, even 100,000 hertz here. And then, after here, we will put a transformer from the high frequency AC to the high to the uh, DC, a high wolf DC. So from here, it's about 300 volt DC. We call the chopped DC. And then, we have have the unregulated DC here. So here we will see after the unregulated DC, we need to have another bridge rectifier, another bridge rectifier to make the unregulated DC to the pulsing wave AC. So here the output will be two hundred twenty volts AC. Output. So this is the way of the switch mode power supply. Okay, so this is the first way. I'm going to show you another way power supply. Another way power supply, we call the name is a regulated linear, linear power supply. So it will be uh, a little difference with the uh, switch mode power supply. Okay, so I'll show you more detail. If we input same 48 volt from the DC, from the battery, and then we have the voltage regulator 
For example, here is a. We will use also a rectifier, rectifier to make it for the AWOLF to the uh, AC. Because uh, before, for the AWOLF is DC, we make uh, uh, the same frequency from DC to AC. Normally, we will change the DC to AC about 35 volt AC from here. And then once we have a 35 volt AC, we need to have a big transformer. This transformer we call the linear linear transformer. So that's why the name of uh, this kind of uh, supply, power supply, we call the regulated linear power supply. So once we have the uh, this big transformer, we can change the 35 volt AC to the 220 volt AC. So you can see from this uh, the whole uh, cycle, all the frequency of the uh, power is the same. We don't change the frequency of the power. We always the uh, the, the low frequency. We always use the, uh, the the low frequency. We don't change. We don't um, we don't up upgrade the uh, frequency. Not like the uh, switch mode power supply. So we, that's why we call this way as the power frequency or the low frequency. So I think that these two, this two uh, power supply is a little complicated for you, but uh, this will be a basic, basic uh, information for you to know more about the high frequency inverter and the, the uh, low frequency inverter. So then, so that means the switch mode power supply. The frequency will be high. We use the uh, bridge rep rectifier. We use a uh, lot of uh, MOSFET. We use a uh, lot of uh, MOSFET uh, bridge rectifier. So the frequency of the uh, power is high. So we call this one is a high frequency inverter. Okay, and then. The regular linear power supply, we use the big transformer and then during all the time the frequency of the, the power, we don't change, we don't change the frequency of the power, so we use the transformer, big transformer. So that's why uh, always the frequency is low, always low 50 hertz or 60 hertz so always low so that's why we call this one low frequency inverter or power frequency inverter so i think now it's more clear for you okay so for example these two these two inverters are the high frequency inverter as we talked about before this one is the 40a wolf dc from the for example uh, for example this is 40a wolf dc from the battery and then resistor capacitor here and then we use this one this one there were both sides there were many many uh, MOSFET many many MOSFET to make the uh, rectifier rectifier bridge and then here we have a small transformer to make uh, to have the uh, high frequency wolf and then here another rectifier to have the uh, 220 volt uh, AC output. This is the high frequency. So from the high frequency inverter, you can see uh, most of the uh, components are the bridge, are the most fit, and then they don't have the big transformer. They have only a small transformer. They don't have a very big uh, transformer. They don't have the linear transformer. They only have the switch mode, switch mode uh, circuits. They don't have the linear transformer. So this is what we call the high frequency inverter. 
And then we can see another one here. So this one is a low frequency inverter, power frequency inverter. So for example, if we input also here, positive, negative, 48 volt DC input, and then you can see here, there are also extra bridge, also extra bridge here, also a rectifier circuit here. We change the 48 volt DC from here to the low frequency uh, 30, about 35 volt uh, AC from this circuit and then we change the 35 volt AC here through this one you can see this one this is a very big uh, linear linear transformer so that's why you can see there are so many so many uh, coupers so many coupers cables here are very big a very big transformer. This one is a 5 kilowatt, 5 kVA a transformer. Very heavy, very big. And then we, uh, our our voltage will be changed from 35 volt AC here input, and then output will be 220 volt uh, AC pulsing wave output. So this one we call the low frequency. We call the linear um, power supply mode. We call the low frequency power frequency inverter so this is the uh, difference inside of the inverter so after we showing you the uh, information of the high frequency the inside of the high frequency inverter and the low frequency inverter so for us for the client for the customer which kind of uh, inverter we should we should we should use uh, because in the market there are not only the high frequency inverter but also the low frequency inverter so sometimes, how can we select the best inverter we need? Okay, so now here, we will give you some uh, suggestion for the inverter difference. Okay, so I will give you the uh, comparison step by step. Okay, so for example, for the large transformer, high frequency, low, low large transformer the low frequency yes because we saw the low frequency there is a very big transformer and then for the peak power for the high frequency because there is no uh, very big uh, transformer inside so for the high frequency the peak power only the rated power for example if the high frequency inverter told you the rated power of the inverter is 5 kilowatt the peak power we suggest you not over the 5 kilowatts because, uh, because uh, they don't have the big transformer so not over the 5 kilowatt. our suggestion but for the power frequency inverter there is a big transformer inside so some, normally sometimes you can uh, you can have a short time you can have a short period uh, over, overload, overload for example 300% rated power for a very short second, like a few seconds, like, a, like a less than three seconds, something like that, you can a little overload. So for the reliability of the these two inverter, high frequency normal, for the power frequency, low frequency inverter, stronger. Uh, now this one is the price, the most important for our client, the price. The price okay, uh, of course, because uh, different kind of technology, different kind of materials. So for the price, the high frequency is much cheaper, and the low frequency is much expensive than the high frequency inverters. Okay, and then for the weight and the size of the inverter, so there's no doubt. Just now I show you, the high frequency is smaller, is lighter. The low frequency is much bigger, and then the low frequency is very low, <laughs> very, 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 I mean, the low frequency is very big, with a big transformer, so the weight is more, much heavier, bigger and heavier. High frequency is small and light. Okay, efficiency. Okay, now for the efficiency, high frequency is higher, because uh, they don't use the linear transformer, they use this switch. They use the switch uh, mode, switching change 
for the for the power. So sometimes the efficiency is about higher than ninety percent, but for the power frequency, sometimes eighty about eighty percent efficiency. And for the consumption, for the consumption, the high frequency is small. The power frequency is big, big consumption. So these two are the same. So finally, when we should use the high frequency inverter? If our house, we for house, if we have only the PC, the computer, the lights, the fan, some uh, some radio, some TV, some phone charger, a small small house, we don't have a very big uh, loadings. We don't have a very big loads. So we suggest, we suggest you to use the high frequency inverter. But if we have some, for example, some models, some pump, many, many air conditioners, and uh, some large machines, we suggest you to use the power frequency inverter. So this is the difference. And uh, of course, for the details uh, selection, you should uh, think of more, more about, more about the price, more about the size, more about the weight. And uh, our, our suggestion is the basic suggestion, the normal suggestion for you. Okay? Okay, so finally, for the high frequency, they are smaller, they are lighter, they are higher efficiency, they are smaller self-consumption, and they are, they are cheaper. But they are not very, very stable compared with the low frequency inverter. For the low frequency inverter, they are bigger, they are stronger, they are heavier, and then they are more expensive. So that means no one is perfect. So high frequency or low frequency, it depends on your house, it depends on your system, it depends on your loads, it depends on your budget also. So, um, if you still have question, please feel free to contact us www.bongjuzola.com. I think uh, we can give you some uh, suggestion for your solar system. We can give you some uh, information useful to help you to make a better solar system. And then, thank you again. This is Leo from Bongju Solar. And then, hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye bye.